According to the WHO situational report dated March 31st, confirmed COVID-19 cases have soared to nearly 751,000 people and killed about 36,000 around the world. The COVID-19 coronavirus, or SARS-CoV-2, spreads through droplets that people make when we talk, cough, or sneeze. The virus can be carried for up to 27 feet and land on the respiratory system, according to a study in the Journal of American Medical Association. A gene sequence study published in Frontiers in Medicine showed that the coronavirus targets human cells with ACE2 receptors. This means the epithelial cells in the lungs and other organs are vulnerable to the coronavirus. The coronavirus has mutations in the spike proteins on its surface. The mutations to the receptor binding domains, or RBDs, allow the virus to use human ACE2 receptors as entry points for getting into the cell. According to the British Society of Immunology, the virus hijacks the cell and commandeers the structures inside the cell to make more copies of itself. The infected cell's ribosomes are directed to create viral RNA and proteins. After that, the cell's Golgi apparatus puts the proteins and RNA together and coats them in protein, which creates new copies of the coronavirus. The biochemical distress of being hijacked by the virus eventually kills the cell, which causes damage to the infected tissue. At the same time, the body tries to fight off the infection by sending killer T cells. The killer cells search and destroy compromised cells. The immune system attack on the infected part of the body leads to more tissue damage and inflammation. Speaking to The Guardian, John Wilson, president-elect of the Royal Australasian College of Physicians and a respiratory physician, said the coronavirus infection spreads down the respiratory system and may reach the alveoli at the bottom of the lungs. This fills the lungs with liquids and inflammatory materials. Symptoms of COVID-19 include fever, breathing difficulties, and muscle pains. Citing doctors, the New York Times reports the virus may move in the blood to attack the heart, the kidneys, and the liver. Lung damage would also deprive patients of blood oxygen. George Washington University Hospital reports that 20% of COVID-19 patients are symptomatic. A portion of these develop severe symptoms and become unable to breathe without using ventilators or other medical devices. Washing one's hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 to 30 seconds is one of the most effective ways to eliminate the coronavirus from your skin. Here's how it works. Soap molecules have a hydrophilic head which is attracted to water and a hydrophobic tail that seeks to bond with lipids such as oils and fats. Coronaviruses are enveloped RNA viruses. Their key components are RNA, the virus's genetic material, proteins that allow the virus to infect cells, and a lipid envelope that coats the virus. This lipid membrane has two rings of hydrophilic heads, surrounding two layers of hydrophobic tails. Soap molecules destabilize a coronavirus because their hydrophobic tails are attracted to lipids in the virus's lipid bilayer. The soap molecules stick to lipids in the bilayer and pry them apart, encapsulating them in bubbles called micelles that wash away in the lather. In addition to disrupting the lipid membrane of the virus, soap molecules also disrupt the bonds that hold the proteins, lipids and viral RNA together. They effectively pull the virus apart, and the viral particles are rinsed away in water. The same process also kills other viruses coated in lipid membranes, such as viruses that cause SARS, AIDS, Ebola, Hepatitis B and C, herpes and dengue fever, as well as many types of bacteria. But remember, regular hand washing is just one of the things you need to do to prevent infection. Taiwan Centers for Disease Control recommend avoiding hospitals and clinics unless necessary, avoiding eating uncooked meat and eggs, and avoid contact with dead animals. Practice proper cough etiquette and respiratory hygiene and avoid areas affected by the virus. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Infection have stated that masks are not effective at preventing infection, and the World Health Organization has said that healthy people should not buy masks. But we here at Tomo News have more trust in the Taiwanese government, which so far has managed to control the virus here without resorting to lockdowns, even though we're only 80 or so miles away from China. Taiwan CDC recommends wearing a medical-grade mask to prevent the spread of the virus to people around you. Wearing a mask also helps stop you from touching your face, which is something you really need to be mindful of during the coronavirus epidemic. 
Chinese scientists have identified a pattern of day-to-day -day symptoms typical of patients with coronavirus in a new study. Their study, published in the journal JAMA, looked at 138 patients hospitalized with novel coronavirus-infected pneumonia at the Zhongnan Hospital of Wuhan University. According to the study of patients in Wuhan, fever is typically the first symptom experienced by those infected with SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes coronavirus disease 2019. Some COVID-19 patients may also experience fatigue, muscle pain, and a dry cough. By day 5, this transitions into breathing difficulties, especially for the elderly or those with pre-existing health conditions. The study found it took patients an average of 7 days after running a fever before they were admitted to a hospital. By day 8, those with severe symptoms had developed acute respiratory distress syndrome, or ARDS, which can be fatal. This is when fluid builds up in the lungs. Patients with worsening symptoms are typically admitted to the intensive care unit by day 10. These patients are probably experiencing more abdominal pain and loss of appetite than those with milder symptoms. On average, it took patients with COVID-19 roughly two and a half weeks to recover from the illness and be discharged from the hospital. According to CNN, as of March 19, there were 215,000 coronavirus cases globally. The death toll has surpassed 8,000. Countries such as Argentina, Canada and Taiwan, as well as the European Union, have shut their borders in order to slow the spread of the disease. According to a report from the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery, anosmia, the loss of smell, hyposmia, a reduced sense of smell, and dysgeusia, the distortion of the sense of taste, should be added to the list of symptoms caused by the COVID-19 virus. In a newsletter on the topic, Claire Hopkins, president of the British Rhinological Society, and Nirmal Kumar, president of ENT UK, reported that more than two in three confirmed cases of coronavirus in Germany have anosmia. Similarly, in South Korea, 30% of patients who tested positive for the virus had anosmia as their main symptom. The report also mentions anecdotal evidence that a patient can be generally asymptomatic, only presenting anosmia, and still test positive for COVID-19. However, patients with just anosmia are often not tested or asked to self-isolate as this symptom is not yet recognized as a sign of coronavirus. A previous study of patients in Wuhan, China, where the COVID-19 virus outbreak originated, found fever is typically the first symptom of those infected with the virus. Some individuals may also experience fatigue, muscle pain, and a dry cough. By day 5 of infection, some patients begin to experience breathing difficulties, especially elderly individuals and people with pre-existing health conditions. New research published in MedArchive by medical specialists in Hong Kong shows how long SARS-CoV-2 can survive on different surfaces and in different environments. The researchers pipetted a droplet of virus culture on several surfaces including paper, tissue paper, wood, cloth, glass, a banknote, stainless steel, plastic, the inner layer of a surgical mask, and the outer layer of a surgical mask. Results show that there was no trace of the infectious virus on printing and tissue paper three hours after incubation. The infectious virus stopped being present on wood and cloth by day two after incubation. Glass surfaces and banknotes had no trace of the virus by day four. Stainless steel and plastic surfaces had no detectable virus on their surfaces by day 7. However, the infectious virus could still be detected on the outer layer of a surgical mask by day 7. The research concludes that although the virus is stable in a wide range of environments, it is still vulnerable to standard disinfection methods. Previous research by American health officials and experts published in MedArchive showed that the novel coronavirus can survive in air particles for several hours and on some surfaces for up to three days. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.